Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. Right now, we're going to go all the way back to 1971, to Nicholas Rogue's magical, mystical walkabout. There is a place where time stands still. I first saw Walkabout when I was nine years old. It blew my mind. It was being advertised as a children's adventure story. Hell, I think it was uh, 17 Magazine's Movie of the Month. I went in expecting Napoleon and Samantha. Instead, I got introduced to the twisted world of director Nicholas Rogue. Within the first five minutes, the father character is shooting a gun at his children, setting himself on fire, and blowing his brains out, abandoning his children in the harsh Australian outback. This was clearly not a Disney nature film. This is easily one of the best films of the 1970s. Rogue was on an extraordinary roll at the time. Performance, walkabout, don't look now, and the absolutely brilliant man who fell to earth. It's one masterpiece after another. With his zoom lens and flash cuts, Rogue was trying to invent a new way to tell stories on film. His stuff is very stylized, yet also very realistic, and he gets great performances. That's his own son, Luke Rogue, as the young boy, and the wonderful Jenny Allgutter as the girl. I love her, and this is probably her best work. So naturalistic. The film is full of nudity, but it never feels explosive. David Gulpilil plays the aborigine who finds and saves them. He's stunning, he's so real, you, you can't imagine him hanging out at the craft service table or heading to his trailer after Rogue calls cut. And the movie looks fantastic, Rogue did his own cinematography. He was a great DP before he turned to directing. If you get a chance, check out a film he shot for director Richard Lester called Petulia. It's another great film. You see the Nick Rogue style being born on that picture. It feels more like a, a Rogue film than a Dick Lester movie. Also fabulous in Walkabout is the John Barry music. I love just about every score Barry created. The Bond movies, Midnight Cowboy, Out of Africa, The Whisperers. Uh, he's one of the greats. Now, one way to look at this movie is to think of it as a, a film about communication or the lack of it. Uh, between civilization and nature, parent and child, man and woman. Uh, when the two worlds collide and yet they don't share the same language. Uh, Algarder's character instinctively understands what is happening with both the aborigine and her father, but, but she tries to deny it, uh, frightened, hoping it will all just go away. And then in the last scene, all grown up, safe with her dull husband, she knows she's lost something. Nick Rogue fell out of favor with the studios in the 1980s. His films were not mainstream enough, and to be fair, the quality began to drop. But when he was at the top of his powers, with Walkabout and The Man Who Fell to Earth, he's one of the best directors of all time. And if you like this film, see if you can uh, find an obscure South African movie called Lost in the Desert. It's directed by Jamie Oyes, the guy who did The Gods Must Be Crazy. Like Rogue, he casts his own son in the lead and dumps him into a treacherous environment. It's a very bizarre film and, and definitely very interesting.